Auto! Yay! It now worked. it's working. We had a bit of technical difficulty a moment ago. You just have us today. Everybody else is either working or Busy. otherwise engaged. Fittings, you know, the like. Yeah. The huge. They always just accommodate our schedule. <laughs> <laughs> but we are here for you, and we are either the cast is either here or here in spirit. Exactly. Um, but tonight's episode is wicked. I, I forgot about what's happening today. So we have someone new. Someone new. Show. Someone new. Someone very magical. M male or female? Uh, male. Mm. Mm. And um, he's pretty fabulous. A lot of people. He's also a fan of the show. And know, we are also fans of his you show. You are a fan of his show, and the, and you guys knew each other before he knew he was going to be on the show. Yeah, so I'm a huge Hamilton fan, as most of you probably know already. Um, and Javi, Javier Munoz, who plays Hamilton, or did for a very long time in the show, was it turned out to be a huge fan of Shadowhunters. So I was following him on Twitter, and he started tweeting about Shadowhunters, and I went, wait, now I'm fangirling. So then we started talking, and he got in touch with our showrunners, and they decided that it was only fitting that he come and play a magical warlock on the show. Yay! I'm so happy to see him um, on TV today, On you know. Because I got to see some of his parts on set, but it's nothing like seeing the final... You see, I've never seen because I, I don't have any scenes with him, or I haven't yet. Oh, so I I've had, never seen. I had a scene with. I have a scene with him, but I think they're only going to release it online. Yeah. Well, it's um, it's amazing that you got to work with him. I'm that's incredible, uh, and I'm I'm super excited to see what he brings to it. It's going to be pretty great. I'm so excited. Yay! All right, so shall we start with some questions? Get well soon. I saw. I'm sorry. Someone is not feeling well, on here. So please get well soon. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let's see. Any questions on here? Do, 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 do. What's been the most emotional scene to shoot so far? I think for me, it was episode 20 on the lake. That's probably the most emotional I've been with, you know, the whole Jace dying and Angel raising, that whole, that whole hullabaloo. Oh, in the past. Yeah. In the <laughs> well, past. I don't know. There's... Um, there's a scene that I have um, with Raphael that's super emotional. Mm-hmm. I don't even, I think that's episode three or four. Is it aired yet? No. I'm excited. Oh, oh episode 304, 305. Ooh, I don't remember. I know what you're talking about. Although I did just, yeah. <laughs> I shot a scene yesterday that I didn't expect to be as emotional as it was. I don't know what happened. Like, you get there and you get in the moment and something just hit me and it suddenly just, I don't know. It was really oh, fun, though. It nice, was fun though. Yeah. It became a thing. Um, but let's see. We have some questions here as well that have been pre-sent. Uh, but that you guys actually wrote on Twitter, so. <laughs> oh, Emerod, uh, what is your actual favorite treat from a vending machine? So my favorite treat from a vending machine, it's actually, they're, they're Latin little candies and they're called moritas. Ooh. So it's like gummies on the inside, but on the outside it, it's like little pieces of uh, like hard candy, like little bubbles. So Yum. it's like. It's um, hard and soft at, at the same time, so it's a mix. But my favorite candy from the Shadow Hunters from the Shadow Hunters is this is chocolate cricket, cricket chocolate, which is actually the name of Matt Hastings, our one of our our executive, executive producer's producer. yeah. daughter. And he actually shot episode. He directed episode eleven and twelve. So I guess this is. Um, in representation of his daughter, Cricket. Which is super cute. Yes. And actually, if you look around our set, that happens a lot. They People include, like, their names or names of the crew or names of their family members or things that mean something to them, little inside jokes, into the storefront names and into, you know, a billboard in the background. The company name will be something that um, is personal to one of our crew members. Even in the... In the subcells in the crypt, have you seen this? Oh yeah, all the names of the people that work here. <laughs> yeah, so all in in the subcells in the institute and in the mausoleum, and every time we have those crypt placards on the walls, all of the names on those are the names of our crew. So <laughs> it's a bit morbid, but so they're dead in the shadow world, <laughs> but not in real life. But we're a bit morbid here on Shadow Hunters at times, you know. But uh, it's it's a nice way to kind of shout out the people that work so hard behind the scenes. Yes. Um. Let's see. Ah, so somebody wanted to know where we filmed the carnival scene with the demon in episode one. That was actually at a place here in Toronto called St. Lawrence Market, which is a huge farmer's market. And um, we took it over for an entire night. 
So you were shooting from what, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m.? Pretty much, yeah. From sundown to sunup, we shot in there. And it was funny because it got to a point where the sun was coming up and we had we still had a bunch of shots to do. So they just went, okay, just run around and shoot in random directions and we'll catch it and put it all together later. Um, so it became this mad dash to kind of get it all done. But we did it and it turned out it turned out pretty well. I get the best honey in that farmer's market. Really? It's so good. It's good to it's know. It's from Australia, actually, the honey that I get. Raw organic honey. Good to know. <clears throat> For my singing voice. I see. <laughs> I always love the, um, they have a little, like, antiques market in the back. Oh, I've never seen it. Where you can it. go, it's only on the weekends, where you oh. can go out and, like, explore all these things that people bring in. It's fascinating. Okay. What is the one word to describe tonight's episode? I forgot. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I don't know what happened in the episode. I have a word. Awkward. Oh, awkward is a good word. Awkward. One. It's so awkward. But <laughs> it was really... Uh, oh, here's another one. How awkward is tonight's double date going to be on a scale from 1 to 10? So as some of you already know, as seen from the pictures, um, there is a double date tonight between Jace, Clary, Simon, and uh, Maya. So it is... Um, it is it is quite awkward to say the least. On a scale of one to ten, ten it's being probably the awkward. More, ten being the most awkward. Okay. It's probably like twenty five thousand. I can't wait to see that scene. Yeah, but it's it's good. It's a lot of fun. Um, do you have a song to describe your character's journey this season? I have a playlist actually. Um, Oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the playlist on my phone. What about you, Em? Well, you know, Isabel is has it pretty s smooth. Like she gets to do a lot of fun things. Like she gets to save a lot of people, and she gets to, you know, actually like start finding herself and just being cool and fun and badass. Yeah, it's not so much that um, journey that she was going through in season two. Yeah, you had a bit of a rough go, didn't you? Yeah, but um, I mean, I don't know of a song that would describe it. Maybe, I don't know, I would have to really think about it. It's hard. But what about yours? What's that, that playlist that you're talking I'm, about? I'm pulling it up. There it is. It is. Oh, what's this song? Uh, love it. Love to hide it. Uh, 30 Seconds, uh, Walk on Water by 30 Seconds to Mars oh. is one of, the, um, one of the ones that I absolutely love right now. Also, Imagine Dragons album, kind of the complete... There's like four songs on that album that are on the, and Halsey's new album too. There's like four songs from that album that are on um, on my playlist. It's fun. See, if I tell you too many of the songs, though, it's gonna be a spoiler for the season. So I can't tell you any more than that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So, Cat. Yes. Um, how do you act when there are scenes with special effects, like the flying? Oh, did you already answer that? Like no, well, demon? with the flying demon, I didn't answer that, okay. no, but, uh, <laughs> it's funny because you have to really use your imagination. There's a lot more talking in those scenes than you would think because, um, everybody has to be on the same page as to what it's going to look like and what you're seeing and what's actually going to be there so that we can react appropriately, especially if there's, like, more than one person reacting to it. Like, do you remember in season one when we did that episode with all the werewolves? And it was our oh first thing here <laughs> running around with the tennis ball. With the tennis ball, yeah. yeah. And we're like, okay, how scary. Like, what are the werewolves doing right now? So that we all, you know, one person isn't like, <gasps> and the other yeah. person's not like, huh? You know? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Um, but, yeah, it's it's a lot of imagination and a lot of just ignoring the fact of how silly you feel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so who would win a fight? Lorenzo or Magnus? I mean, they're both high warlocks, right? But see, here's the thing. Magnus is older than Lorenzo by a couple hundred years. And he's been the High Warlock. And, you know, Magnus is, is the son of, of, like, a prince of hell. Right? right? But I feel like Lorenzo is more, like, conniving Right, than so he would do maybe, like, things he shouldn't be doing yeah. to win a fight. I don't know. I think, I mean, it's hard because, you know... We all love um, Lorenzo, but I think deep down we all think probably Magnus would win. I mean, I think we would hope Magnus would win. Yeah, I guess we would hope. Because as much as we love Javi, I mean, Lorenzo is a is a love-to-hate kind of character. So, 
I don't know. I mean, unless unless you're one to fancy the villain winning the fight. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, Here, let me scroll through some of these. Yeah. Okay. There's this eight. You guys, you guys are sending too many questions. It's my daughter. Okay. Emeralds. Hey. Uh, I love Shadow Hunters. We love you guys too. Um, uh, red hair? Is that the new red hair? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Walking the Wire. Yes, I love that song. In episode one, season three. Wait, wait. Does it say why don't Shadow Hunters ever eat? What? Does it say that? Wait, wait. Hold on. It's right there. Why don't Shadow Hunters ever eat? Because oh, we, we have will, no though. time. But we, we will. will. <gasps> we, will. <gasps> we will. We will. You're gonna see how all of us eat. It's true. And what we eat at the institute. It's really funny. There's we were, a new set on. There's a new set on set. Yeah, they 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 take our cloisters and they redress it all the time to make it a bunch of different locations. Yeah. Um, that scene, you guys are gonna absolutely love it. I'm so excited. We were all laughing our yeah. our butts off while yeah. we were shooting it. It was so funny. Uh, why do the fairies want Simon? Well, you'll just have to watch to find out. I can't tell you that. Oh right. Because these scenes are the best. They are pretty fun. They are. We haven't had really a Clizzy scene. No, I never see you anymore. <laughs> it's really well, sad. Well, I think 18, we have a, oh, a slightly like half a scene together. And yeah. You... Then yeah. stuff happens. <laughs> As always. Um, speak on Anna Hopkins. Anna Hopkins is amazing. Our lovely lethal Lilith. Can I alliterate anymore? <laughs> um, no, she's pretty great. Um, she's fabulous to work with. She's amazing on screen. She's oh my god, yeah, she's so, so nice. beautiful. Yeah, um, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing her a lot. She's back quite a bit. Quite a bit, yeah. <laughs> um, thank you, Janice. Not able to watch the episode tonight. Definitely watch it tomorrow. If you guys miss the episode tonight. Try and watch it tonight, but if you miss it tonight, it'll be on the Freeform app. On the Freeform on app Hulu. on Hulu, and also it'll be all over the place. Um, is he going to kill? Since <laughs> her cookie is terrible, we haven't really oh, played much well, of that. Hey, it's probably really bad, but but it's not poisonous though. <laughs> but didn't you didn't you and Raphael make tamales? Well, he made them. <laughs> oh, he made them. Okay, I was gonna I was say watching him. See, make I wasn't there when uh, when y'all shot that scene. Hey, Chicago. Uh, oh, that was just a, the, oh, somebody asked why they put the Mark of Cain on Simon and not me, why the Seelys put it on. It was just a change they decided to make. Um, they they thought it made more sense, and trust me, it does make more sense so later So wait, on. so that this, the Mark of Cain was put on Clary? No, it was put on Simon, but in the books, Clary, no, no, I know, I know. yeah, yeah books, Clary, sorry. Clary made it and uh, put it on Simon. Oh, as a, as a protection, I see. Instead, and now instead of the Seely Queen. Queen, yeah. Oh. But I'm actually sort of glad for it because it's also a curse. And let's face it, Clary's done enough to ruin Simon's life. You know, by the whole Simon's like life, dragging or... him into the shadow world and like making him a vampire. And yes, everyone's life. Clary's just the monkey wrench. But I needed you guys, you know, and you were there for me. Yeah. And I might mess things up sometimes, but sometimes. you know, I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm learning. Slowly but surely. Hey from Kansas, I what know. up? Oh, hi. So the show is starting any minute now. It is. We're gonna have to wrap it up. Trish really wants to know why the fairies are obsessed with Simon. Trish, I'm sorry. Oh. I can't spoil it for you. Trust me. You don't want me to spoil it. You know? Yeah, I know. We can't spoil it. Just mm -mm. keep watching. Yes. I promise you'll find out. We're trying so hard not to say anything. More. I know, right? Because it's like we can't, we can't say anything. We could tell you guys. What? We could. Well, we could tell them. We could spoil it. But mm. then that's no fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think we really have to wrap up now because the show. Oh yeah, the show's about to start. We got to get set up to tweet with you guys. So much love. Thank you for watching. Tweet us. We'll be answering your questions on Twitter. We'll be back next week for more. Bye, guys. Oh, I don't know. Wait, okay. <laughs>